Since at least 776 BC, when the first Olympic Games was recorded, when athletes gathered to honor Zeus, the god of sky and thunder, sports have gathered people together. The Tokyo Summer Games is proof of that tradition, as is Beijing 2022, the first city in Olympic history to host a summer and winter games. Sports has a special place in Chinese culture and across the 56 ethnic groups, from the Han, that make up over 90% of the population to other much smaller but equally important communities like the Bai, Sui and Chinese Tatars. Through centuries, these ethnicities had kept traditional sports alive through their own annual games, a wonderful way to keep history intact while sharing their culture beyond their groups. China's largest minority group, the Zhuang people, is known for a competition known as board shoe racing. Three racers strap their feet onto planks of wood and run as fast as they can. Legend has it that this method of running was once a military training exercise when the Zhuang had to defend themselves from pirates. Another game, Ya Jia or Elephant Tug of War, comes from the Tibetan people. This sport has two competitors facing away from each other, similar to modern tug of war, except this version requires a long cloth looped around both players' necks. The Manchu people who gave China the Qing dynasty and Puyi, the last emperor, invented the pearl ball, so named for the ancient pearl diving industry. It's rather like basketball, but with racket-wielding goalies. The game may have originated with the Manchu, but it was hugely popular throughout China and is recognized as an intangible cultural heritage artifact. Pearl Ball experienced a revival in the 1980s and is still enjoyed today with more games making a comeback, an interesting contrast to the tech innovations emerging in parallel. Some of these sports can be seen at the annual National Ethnic Games that brings together all Chinese ethnic groups from each part of the country. Thousands of athletes compete in over a dozen disciplines, including the equestrian events in Inner Mongolia. In recent years, a record number of student athletes have stepped up to the challenge. Many of them tell stories of watching their parents and grandparents play these traditional games and now wanting to extend this legacy. Each of these games are a part of the past and remain a point of pride for their community. And as more young people take to the arena, a new chapter is marked in the history books for everyone. Hi, I'm James Chow. You're watching The China Current. Follow us on social media at The China Current. <laughs>